Ha <laughs> 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 Look at him swaying up and down, this perverse ghost over here staring at people taking showers. All right, welcome back to Goodbye, Theponia. Episodo numero tres. That's how good I am in Spanish. I'm so good that apparently Rufus went into a guitar solo right now. Perfect timing, thank you. Appreciate that, Rufus. Uh, that being said, we um, we know we have to switch this bag out because we have a bag of our own that looks exactly like it. This one over here apparently belongs to either Cletus or Openbot, who are in the other side of this area here. So let's do the old switch reaction. Oh, ho. <laughs> uh, I'm curious. Hmm, rare porcelain. Antique crystal. Uh, shards, shards, and more shards. What's he gonna do with all these shards? Uh huh. Money! We have paid for money. Toilet door. Have we been here? I don't recall we've been to the toilet door. Occupied. Uh, Are you ever coming out of there? Don't rush me! <laughs> I'm suffering. Mm, from severe temporal diarrhea. Oh. Oh, the sound. Temporal diarrhea? Yes! I'm a time traveler. You mean you come from the future? Nonsense! Oh, hold on. Uh, there is no future. I came from the past to watch the end of the oh, world. Uh, here we go again. Then you're in the wrong place. I'm the guy who's gonna prevent the end of the world. Oh! Mm. That would be very nice of you. Mm. I'm stuck here, you know. Why, is your time machine clogged? Not exactly. <sighs> There's no more toilet paper. Hey, that was irony. Naturally, I don't believe a word you've said. Well... <sighs> It wasn't exactly the whole truth. Ha! I knew it! There's... One roll of toilet paper left. But it's as rough as sandpaper. Oh! Oh, and I had the chili during the toxic and civil war! Oh. That's a long one! Why would this so long? Alright. I'm gonna be honest with you. Farts are funny. Am I right? Am I right? I can't be the only one, right? Farts are funny. You rip one when you're like in a group of people somewhere and... At first everybody's like gotta be like the whole like, Wow, I can't believe you did that. But then you know somebody's gonna just kinda snicker. And then once the snicker starts going, everyone's just cracking up. Do we have any paper pillow? Oh no, no, don't wipe your... I mean, we have paper money. Would that work? This guy's gonna literally wipe his ass with paper money. Must be nice. Here, this should work. Oh. That's nice and soft. Ha! Huh. Thank you. Whew. I can finally continue my journey. Here, take this. Huh? What's this? Your change. I didn't use it all. And now, off to new shores. Farewell, end times person. Hey, halt! Stop! Oh, great. He's gone. If I didn't constantly imagine things like that, I would probably be really worried now. You grab that without him washing his hands first, so I'm gonna say. Oh, but you know what? I guess I think I figured it out. Oh, can we open this up now? Yeah. Um, there was a coin slot in the pie machine. So I guess that's how we get, um, homeboy's, uh, homeboy's pie. Toilet paper. That's the one that was too rough, huh? Oh, that really is a bit rough. Wow, that even outdoes the pharmacy magazine of the blind drugstore owner. And that was in Braille. Yeah, I'm so glad you brought that up because I was about to bring that up myself. It reminds me of the entire um, gimmick scene from the last game where you had to wipe your booty with the Braille paper. So glad they alluded to it. Okay, toilet bowl. Oh, oh there might be something in there, though. What am I supposed to do? Look in the toilet bowl? Ugh. He didn't even flush. Oh, 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 especially after that last one. Holy junk, the flush isn't working right. There must be a leak somewhere in the pipes. Oh. You mean <laughs> the one that's evident through over here? Oh, 
rats, the coin is too big. What good is small change if it isn't small enough? Too big. I don't got any more change, dog. Oh. Toilet paper as rough as sandpaper. Sand the coin down. That really Sand the is coin down. Maybe. Ha! It worked! Now that's what I call the inflationary use of bathroom humor. That's cute. That's very, very cute. Alright, well, as long as it works, it's fine. Yeah. Yeah, finally! All this money changing has made me really hungry. I think oh. I'll let Bozo go first. Remember the whooping pox thing? We keep- they keep stressing it a bit that I think we have to literally terminate- like, make this man terminally ill with whooping pox. And I started looking at this thing while he was talking. And it seems to be like all this... Is that poop? In the pie? Oh. I hope that's not poop in the pie. I think we have to... We have to infect this pie. <laughs> Feed it a bozo and give him an illness this way. Oh, either way. Have we been through here before? Guess not. Oh, this should lead to... Yeah, the pipe. Okay, so this is the other thing we have to do. So I, I still have an idea we have to infect this pie for Bozo to make him terminally ill. What's another the body, right? And over here we have to fix this leak, which is apparently heralding from here. Ah, this pipe is leakier than a rat's bladder. What were they thinking? Putting a dumpster for fish guts right under the guest rooms, when there's a perfect balcony to throw stuff over. Oh. Shh. What's that? Pelican? Huh, a pelican. That's not crazy. Mildly odd. Well, I mean, they, they like fish, sure. I'm just not sure what one of them would be doing inside the trash bin. Well, it's filled with fish guts, so I guess he's just having a ball in there. Uh, may I? Shh. My goodness. Pretty snappy for somebody who doesn't have any teeth. But just you wait. I'll stuff your big mouth. So, we need to get your ass out of there. So we need these fish guts then, no matter what. The pelican won't let me dig through the fish guts, even though it's just half-heartedly poking around in them. I can see that it's not hungry. What do we have here? <laughs> fish knife. <laughs> just stab the pelican, that'll get him out of the way. Dust, corkscrew, pepper shaker, salt shaker. What if, uh... Salt shaker? Let's see if it appreciates me spicing things up a little. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Little too salty, huh? Don't mention it. Yeah. Boy, he's out of there now. Perfect. Too late. The pelican has eaten it. Eh, it's my own fault. Curse my culinary talent. Oh, no. Oh, it's the fish. It's the fish jumping in his mouth now. It's still alive. Okay, just... Just take it. I guess. Uh, may I? Jerk is still snapping at me. Hmm. Some of my homemade salt mackerel is still floating in his expandable pouch thingy. <laughs> it looks yummy. It's already salted, but it's still alive. Uh, okay. Okay, what do we got here? We need to keep him from snapping at us. Can we use the knife now? Like, threaten him? Like, if you snap at me again, I will cut your neck off. Excuse me, I would never hurt a helpless animal. Well, I never. No animals will be harmed during the production of Deponia 3. I think we could probably maybe stuff his mouth with this though, right? Put that in there, he won't be able to close, it's big enough. There. Yeah. Time for a break, herring breath. <laughs> That's what you get, bird brain. I, I take high offense to that, mind you. So, reach in there. Uh, slimy. Fishy. Can we kill you? Let's see if I can make something tasty out of it. No animals will be harmed during the production of Deponia 3. Well, let's start off by... Doc's room. Not looking too good there, Bozo. Let's see if I get a tip what here. What have you got there? Something to eat. What else? A pie? Huh. That's really nice of you. I'm sick with hunger. You know, blue tongue, cough, 
Sniffles, fever, looks like whooping pox. You should have put on your clothes, like I told you. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. With some pie in my stomach, things will look completely different. Well, can I have the pie now? Yeah, I don't think it's quite ready yet. Yeah, that's what I figured. Ah, uh, Dentosaurus. Put a dino on your toothbrush. Hey, that's the same brand I used as a kid to fake having a fever. Huh. Says here, Dentosaurus toothpaste is a chemical waste product and not suitable for internal use. Possible side effects. Fever. Sweaty feet. Permanent loss of the awareness of danger. <laughs> Under no circumstances may Dentosaurus toothpaste be mixed with rug cleaner because dangerous chloroform gas may develop. <laughs> wow, I should read hazard warnings more often. I actually thought toothpaste was useless. Perfect. Okay. Bozo didn't give me any ideas of, like, you know, other than the fact that we're looking for certain symptoms of the whooping pox to infect them with. But, um, okay, that. Feet. That is one of the symptoms, so could we... Icing on the pie. Yes. It does cause a slight fever, but it's also good for your teeth. <laughs> oh, man. We are so evil to this man. What about dust? <laughs> cough. Dust. As if I didn't have enough of that in my coat. Fever, coughing, okay, right? Yeah. And here we have a very special... Special treat for the taste buds. <laughs> Eat my dust, all you uninspired, risk averse cooks. Okay. What about the paper? Or the, the paper, wow. The pepper. Dr. Queasy's Pep Snack contains at least 20% pepper. Also try Dr. Queasy's Reptile Chow, Dr. Queasy's Bait Bugs, and Dr. Queasy's All-Purpose Roaches. Hmm. Pepper would also cause sneezing and stuff like that, right? It's the gag, it's the cliche, right? Throw a little pepper on somebody, they start sneezing and all that stuff, Dr. so that should- Queasy Yeah, yeah, also... you said that right, shut up, Rufus. Yeah. Ah, you can never have enough pepper. Would that be enough of it? <laughs> What'd I tell you? Oh, don't panic. Uh, oh, it all landed on the pie. Oh, that's even worse. Okay. Is it ready? Shampoo? Those flaky scales sure look a lot like dandruff. What? Those flaky scales sure look a lot like dandruff. Flaky dandruff in a bald man's hood. Ingenious. If there was such a thing as self-marriage, I would propose to myself. I don't know what this is supposed to accomplish for me when it comes to, like, getting something blue, but it's a step in towards something. Oh, oh, oh. oh, yuck! What is that? Oh, I have dandruff! This is a catastrophe! And I swapped all the hotel shampoo for cigarettes on the black market! Don't just stand there! Do something! Shampoo? Well, I, I... Wouldn't you know that I have shampoo? Shampoo? My salvation. Out with you. I have to shower. Okay. So if he's showering, can I sneak in now and take the... <laughs> Locked. <laughs> Paranoid twit. Ah, I was hoping that's how we get the tarantula. Well, um... Oh, you know what? We could... If he's showering, wouldn't that mean that Ghost Man is having his little jollies? <laughs> yeah, he is. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! The ghost is doing his haunting thing. I won't bother him now. Look at him swaying up and down, this perverse ghost over here staring at people taking showers. You are the most perverted ghost I've ever met, Casper. Okay, I thought we could steal that now, but we just go outside, I guess. Oh, oh, we're by the leak now, so I guess we could fix this here. Okay, maybe... T well, we got two birds, one stone, because we can take the tarantula. The destroyer is nigh. Ooga, 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 shally. The arrival of the destroyer is nigh. So nigh. Ooga, 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 yeah. You can't get at it that way. I think to reach with? No. Okay. Well, fortunately he locked the door, so that's not gonna be the way to do it. 
Um, tarantula, what do we do with you? Mr. Toffee. Weird name for a tarantula. Hope it's not connected to its camouflage. Well, now how do we plug up this leak? What do we have? Toothpaste is not gonna plug up a leak. Pillowcase is not gonna do it. Corkscrew's not gonna do it either. You know, if we could get the tarantula out of there, could we not use the little... The little plug for the jar? I mean... It's another cliche, but this game so far has been nothing but cliches, right? The cork could be the right yeah. size to seal the hole. I just have to get it off the jar. <sighs> well, uh, I was on the right idea. What do- Oh! Oh, of course. Hey, I could really use a cork like this. There it is. And you be a good boy and stay in there, Mr. Toffee, okay? Mr. Toffee? <gasps> Where'd he go? Oh, it's a tarantula loose. Oh. Well, we got our cork. Perfect. So, oh, that means now we can flush the toilet and get whatever was in there. That is a toilet freshener. Oh, man. Who'd throw something that cool into a toilet bowl? A toilet freshener and a toilet bowl, I mean. Why would you put that in there, right? Oh god, it's blue. Oh no. Oh no, it's blue. I just it just don't know what we're doing with it. Oh, that's disgusting. That's disgusting. <laughs> oh wait! It oh. needs artificial coloring! Food must please the eye. Oh, goodness, God. <laughs> Farts are funny. Eating stuff that was, um, in contact with feces is not funny. That's- that's very disgusting, as a matter of fact. <laughs> oh, God. That's gotta be the last piece of this puzzle. I'm sorry about this, buddy, but... <laughs> I mean, I was looking to infect you with a terminal lotus, not to give you something that was, you know, next to feces. What have you got there? Something to eat. What else? A pie? Huh. That's really nice of you. Blah. This hotel slop isn't <coughs> very <coughs> tasty. On the contrary, I suddenly feel so... <coughs> Uh, how do I feel? Sick? Huh? Huh? I think uh, I have whoo! a fever. Is my tongue blue? Uh, yeah, like Doc on Barbecue Thursday when there's no more beer. No argument from me. Oh, no. It's the whooping pox, and I'm cold, too. You were right. I need to get dressed as quickly as possible. Could you maybe find my clothes? Oh, the things you do for your friends. Oh. <laughs> well, it worked. Put your suit on. Here, I got your clothes from the laundry. Now, please get dressed. Yeah. <coughs> Probably right. Thanks, Rufus. No mention. You really are a good friend. Told you no, so. No, I'm not. Here's my towel. Well, he's still alive if it means anything. He looks kind of good now. All right, well, we got a red towel. What for? I got no clue. The towel is rock hard. Fortunately, there's soft moss growing on it. There's also a care label with six symbols. It's funny, I'm not familiar with any of them. Six symbols. Didn't the pillowcases send the same thing the earlier? The quality of this pillowcase is outstanding. So many headlights can't be wrong. There's also a care label with six symbols. It's funny, I'm not familiar with any of them. That's weird. On the surface, there's almost no difference between these textiles. But the expert can spot deviations in the symbols on their tags. Obviously an ancient hieroglyphic script. Huh. Okay, well, that's kind of weird. So... Now, we're still missing the robe, for one. It's really the only thing I can think of right now, the robe. I'm not sure what to do with this jar just yet. Oh! Goodness, his hair grew in because of the, the shampoo. He used um, Bozo's shampoo. Look at it, he's even got like a Fu Manchu going on. 
Could I bother you again? Yes, you seem to have a penchant for that. Right. Um, can you give me that robe now? Oh, come on. Give me your robe. No. Does not want to give me the robe still? Let's see if we can do something here with ghost manalities. Okay. Where the hell did he go? There was a really funny joke here in the original German version. <laughs> Unfortunately, it got lost in translation. Was it really? German bros? What was the joke? You better not be messing with Rufus. Okay, uh, I guess we just take the sheep now. Not sure what we need it for, but... Unfortunately, it got lost in translation. There's also a care label with six symbols. That's funny, I'm not familiar with any of them. Again with the six symbols. That's three items with the six symbol nonsense. What is odd, though, is that we could still apparently interact with the hood. This hood has already given us lots of pleasure, but its potential isn't exhausted. <laughs> yeah. There you go. That's the reason why we can still mess around with it. Well, what do we have now to get put in this hood? And what would it accomplish? Did I do much? Towel? Oh, wait a minute. Didn't you say something about lights? The quality of this pillowcase is outstanding. So many headlights can't be wrong. There's also a care. That's funny. That's it. That is it, right? Headlights. And He's got hair now. brings us to phase three yes. of my ingenious plan. I call it poetic injustice. Oh, yeah. What is that? Oh, my scalp itches. I have rice. Good thing I have this new miracle <laughs> shampoo. And now, off with you. I have to shower. Yes, he did say I have rice. It was a different time. Okay, does that... Yes! He didn't lock his freaking door this time. There the it is. of the Destroyer is nine. It's nine. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. It's a good song and everything. But we got what we needed. Yes, sir. Step out before he steps out of that. Okay, so... I should stop scamming my way to the top of dubious underground organizations. <laughs> That's been my New Year's resolution since I was 12. Perfect. Doesn't matter. We can now, I guess, use it in ourselves to... Do it. We'll do whatever we had to do in the laundry. So, to the laundry. Home, home, kumbaya. Our leader is now here. Tree, tra, tru, la, la. Shh. Uh, right. Uh, well, here I am now. <laughs> Let the party begin. <laughs> Does he bear the holy relics? Engraved with the insignia six. Oh. The what? Oh, the relics. Yeah, wait a minute. I just need to check that myself. <laughs> what, what sort of relics were those again? The holiest of sacred relics. Engraved with the insignia six. Here I go with my psychedelic lyrics about relics. They're so mad, they'll make your head ache. Yeah, you better call a medic. You're gonna take a pill, or you're gonna get sick, for we are a sick addicted to the relics with the six insignia. Uh... What? Shh. Why? Didn't we agree on me having a rap solo? So, you want relics? All right, if that's all. Uh, all right. I guess that's what we were collecting you guys for. Here you go. One of the holy relics with the insignia six. Okay, it's being washed now, cool. Another one. One of the holy relics with the insignia six. Boom, waka, 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 waka. Shh. They're quite the bunch, I would say, huh? Fit and cheap. One of the holy relics with the insignia six. Oh, 
So what now? Not all the machines are running yet. Let the washing begin! What? Hey! Huh? They turned on me! I have to get out of the machine at the same time as Cletus's suit, preferably before I start to shrink. Oh, so we need to steal the suit so we can become Cletus again. Oh, what the hell is this? Uh... What? <laughs> what? What does this mean? Rufus knows how to throw a good clean party. Also, the symbols on the care label tell in which washer they'll stop. The symbols on the care label tell in which washer they'll stop. Since there can only be one piece of clothing in each machine at a time, there is also potential for all kinds of fantastic chain reactions. And hopefully one will lead to Rufus and Cletus can cost him exiting the machine simultaneously. And maybe as a bonus without any sort of lift. <laughs> the hell's happening? Choose the holy relic. Uh. Please, this close. Am I? Am I in it now? No, no, his his clothes over there. I'm I'm with something else that's white. right now. Two hours later. Oh. oh, that was stressful. Is it over? The washing is complete. Kumbaya, my son. Yeah, I meant to that. Next is the ritual dental operation. That's good. What? No, please! Please stop! No! Stop! Let's knock this over! Wait! Ah! 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 I feel so dirty. <laughs> Whatever. At least I got Cletus's clothes. I, uh, would have probably enjoyed that a lot more if I hadn't spent the last at least 15, 20 minutes trying to figure out that freaking laundry puzzle. I don't understand it. I don't, I don't know what I did. Like, I have absolutely no clue what I did to solve it. Things kept on going up, I kept on clicking on them, then things would kind of reset again and I'd click a different order. Eventually, I got this. I, I don't understand the damn thing about it. <laughs> I don't know how the labels worked into the system. I don't know. I was very close to just looking it up or hitting the skip button, but I kept on going. Eventually, I figured it out. I don't understand how I solved it. No clue. But, it's done. It's done. We have the clothes. Now we can apparently go on with our journey. I've been recording long enough. I'm gonna wrap it up here for this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you next time.